It's 12 o'clock. Good afternoon. You're watching All Angles here on ENCA. I'm Masukho Rathlacha. All right, let's take you straight to this story now. Uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa is bestowing national orders at the presidential guest house in Pretoria. It's the highest awards that South Africa bestows on individuals who've contributed to the advancement of democracy and the improvement of citizens' lives. Let's take you there live. John Arthur Black. For his contribution to action and endurance sport, his achievements inspired many people by their sheer determination of human fortitude. The Order of Ikamanga in Bronze is hereby bestowed to Mr. Warren Neil Eva. For his contribution to action and endurance sport, his achievements inspired many people by their sheer demonstration of human fortitude. The Order of Ikamanga in Bronze is hereby awarded to Dr. Matozi Irene Mawela. For her outstanding contribution to the performing arts, her natural voice induces evocative emotions that have moved many local and international people. The Order of Ikamanga in Silver is hereby bestowed on Ms. Bongiwe Bongi Lomo Mawutwa. For her, for her contribution to the fields of arts by curating creative projects that preserve significant periods in South African history.
The Order of Ikamanga in Silver is hereby bestowed on Professor Keith Adrian Gotcha. <laughs> For using his creativity to draw critical attention to oppressive and unjust laws through performance, political poetry. His work provided strength and motivated many people to fight for liberation. The Order of Ikamanga in silver is hereby bestowed on Mr. Mtutuzeli Ben Nomoi posthumously, represented by Ms. N. Nomoi. For his sterling work in television and film industry in South Africa, he was one of the groundbreakers in the production of TV and film local stories. The Order of Ikamanga in Silver is hereby bestowed on Mr. Mfundi Vunda. For his sterling work in television and film industry in South Africa. His body of work in the field of arts is indisputable proof of the value of consistency. <laughs>
Order of Ikamanga in gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Mono Arthur Sipo Padela, posthumously represented here by Mr. P. Padela. <laughs> For his excellent contribution in the field of journalism and mobilizing the masses against oppression, his storytelling through journalism became an integral part of the struggle against injustice. <laughs> Manga in gold is hereby bestowed on Ms. Desiree Ellis. <laughs> For her excellent contribution to football, a male dominated sport, her sustained excellence provides encouragement to women to excel in their respective fields of endeavor. Order of Ikamanga in gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Siamtanda Sia Olisi, who is represented here by Mrs. Art Olisi. <laughs> leadership and contribution to rugby. He is a trailblazer in democratic South Africa by being the first black person to captain the Springboks to World Cup glory. <laughs> Kamanga in gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Solomon Popoli Linda posthumously, who is represented here today by Ms. E. Nzele. <laughs> contribution in the field of arts as a musician and composer. His creativity saw him produce a song that is both epochal and evocative to the nation. <laughs>
The Order of Fikamanga in Gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Bokwe Smagushe Mafuna. <laughs> For his excellent contribution to journalism and political activism. His work is a perfect example of the intersection between journalism and scholarship on the liberation struggle. <laughs> Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished guests and fellow South Africans, we will now bestow the order of the Bauba. The order of the Baobab is awarded to South African citizens for distinguished service in the fields of business and the economy, science, medicine, for technological innovation and community service. The Baobab tree sustains life from its roots even in arid, difficult conditions, it thrives. We learn lessons as we gather under the shade of this tree, listening to the wind gently whistling about legends and lessons of old from its branches. The order of the Baobab is bestowed on those who have made a safe space and place for us under the tree of knowledge. The Order of the Baobab in silver is hereby bestowed on Dr. Solomon Boyce Isaac Lefakane. <laughs> For his pioneering contribution in the field of civil engineering, he inspired many people behind the scenes to take up engineering. <laughs> Order of the Baobab in silver is hereby bestowed on Ms. Puti Rahokala. <laughs>
contribution in the field of education and demonstrating the need to move with the times by promoting technological awareness and advancement to both teachers and students. <laughs> The Baobab in silver is hereby bestowed on Mr. Cornelius Rua Stradon. For his outstanding role as a global philanthropist, his work has gained him recognition from leaders around the world. <laughs> the baobab in gold is hereby bestowed on Dr. Gianna Mbefe. <laughs> medical field and ensuring the equal distribution of medical attention to all people, especially the previously disenfranchised. <laughs> Baobab in gold is hereby bestowed on Professor Ephraim Tibedi Mokokom. <laughs> For 
his excellent contribution to medical sciences in South Africa. He has distinguished himself with his dedication to providing gynecological services to poor women in rural areas. Distinguished guests, the Order of the Baobab in Gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Simon Deliweyo Ngobo, posthumously represented here by Mr. Sonda Ngobo. For his contribution to education by resuscitating a historical school and turning it into an institution that served and groomed many young people who have become leaders in South Africa. Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished guests and fellow South Africans, we will now bestow the order of the Tuli. The order of the Tuli is awarded to South Africans who have served the interests of the country by making a meaningful contribution in the struggle for democracy, human rights, nation building, justice, peace, and conflict resolution. Throughout its history, the liberation struggle always formed alliances that enhanced its vision of a united, non-racial, non-sexist South Africa. In that time, it cultivated people of extraordinary courage, intellect, and selflessness to direct this vision. Amongst them was Ngosi Albert John Mvubi Lutuli, a committed servant of his people. He pursued a path that displaced the notion of war and violence as vehicles to achieve freedom. Those who continue his legacy are honored today. Ladies and gentlemen, the Order of Lituli in Silver is hereby bestowed on Ms. Molly Bellhouse Blackburn posthumously, here today represented by Ms. Fenn van Donner. <laughs> Thank you. 
for her contribution to the fight for liberation in South Africa, often risking her life for firmly upholding the liberation cause and ideals to the end. <laughs> The Order of Lutuli in silver is hereby bestowed on Mr. Moki, Jacob Bonisile Tsekisane. <laughs> for making a significant difference in our society by providing an indispensable bridge between the struggle for liberation and post-apartheid community development. <laughs> The Order of Lutuli in Gold is hereby bestowed on Ms. Ethel de Kaiser, posthumously, today represented by Ms. N. Busika. <laughs> For her ast astounding contribution to the struggle for liberation, her fundraising for scholarships for freedom fighters and their children's education kept up the morale of our freedom fighters in exile. <laughs> The Order of Lutuli in Gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Ibrahim, Ismail Ibrahim, posthumously, herein represented by Ms. S. Ibrahim. <laughs> For his lifelong commitment to the liberation of all South Africans, he lived by, a, by the courage of his convictions and became a formidable opponent to the repressive apartheid government. <laughs>
Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished guests and fellow South Africans, we will now bestow the order of Mapungubwe. This order is awarded to South African citizens for excellence and exceptional achievement. We salute the recipients of the order of Mapungubwe for excellence and exceptional achievement here and across the globe. As we do so, we acknowledge and remember our ancestors sitting on top of Mapungubwe Hill who represented excellence, ingenuity, sophisticated systems and trade with nations as far away as China. They have pointed the scepter in the right direction without doubt or hesitation, and we celebrate those that continue their legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Order of Mapungubwe in bronze is hereby bestowed on Dr. Abu Bakr Ibrahim Dango for his... Ad oh. He is represented by his son, and the, award, the, the order is bestowed on him for his admirable and distinguished contribution to the field of science through his groundbreaking research in physics. of Mapungubia in bronze is hereby bestowed to Dr. Bahangwele Masindi. <laughs> For his contribution to environmental sciences focusing on water, his work seeks to find much needed solutions to the challenges of water scarcity in South Africa. Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished guests and fellow South Africans, we will now bestow the order of the companions of our town. The order of the companions of OR Tambo is awarded to eminent foreign nationals for friendship shown to South Africa. It's concerned with matters of peace, cooperation, international solidarity, and support, and is integral to the execution of South Africa's international and multilateral relations. The order brings to mind a revolutionary thinker, a humanist, and a mentor of our nation. Right, those are live visuals that you're seeing on your screens. President Cyril Ramaphosa bestowing national orders on South Africans who've done outstanding work in terms of uh, uh, promoting democracy and the Constitution. Uh, this is, of course, different awards, including Ikamanga, the Baobab, as well as Lutuli. Some of the people who received awards so far today include Sia Golisi, the captain of the box, uh, Rachel Golisi, 
his wife actually went up on stage to receive it on his behalf. And I think you can see her still in the green dress there uh, in, on the front row, rather. Mfundi um, Vondla, the man who actually created the Soapy Generations, also received an award earlier today. So uh, those are the live visuals coming to you from Pretoria, uh, the president bestowing these national awards to outstanding South Africans.